Hi guys, welcome to Webjeta. In this one, we are going to talk about events and learn how Swelt handles it. So I'll start the blank uh, page here. So I would like to have a some kind of a bulb here, a light bulb maybe. So I'll get it from here. This is hero icons. So I can just copy the SVG, come back here. I'll have a division. I'll call this bulb and I'll have the SVG here I don't want it to be this big I can have a width of maybe 50 pixels and this should do and for the bulb itself I'll have a style Uh, you'll not be able to see any changes here okay make this display That should put the okay. So I can have a gray, maybe radial gradient. I hope that is how this is. Um, yellow, color white. Yeah, that does it. But I can also have percentages, I think uh, 30% and 70 percent yeah this looks like a this looks like a light bulb um, now we can have a, a switch I'll have a button we call this switch and uh, I'll style the button Maybe I should place everything in a room where I can control the positioning. Let's style the room here to display everything in the center. right so I can uh, you know style the switch as well which isn't necessary but I'll do it anyway yeah color should be white all right we have a switch now the idea is to you know uh, click on this button uh, so that the uh, bulb uh, turns on or this yellow color comes up now what we can do is we can have on click on the button and we can actually call a function something like uh, lights on all right so this function is not there yet so I'll go and create that function inside the script tags so creating the function is easy uh, I'm, I'm doing it um, ES6 way you can do it the old way as well uh, just by calling function and brackets and then so that is also fine so here uh, what I'll do is I'll alert something here okay or something so just to test whether it works it's working now uh, I'll have a variable called light or even color so I'll have it um, as yellow now I have to initialize it let yellow let color yellow that's the color so I can uh, maybe I can have it blank now initially 
and then I can change it here color equals hello so when the light is on it changes to this color so I'll have to apply this here on the SVG itself or on the bulb the way I can do is I can call style background I think it's a radial gradient I can just copy the same thing so instead of yellow I can have color so it says unexpected token uh, where did I miss it oh, okay so it should be equals all right now it's not on so when we click on it it changes the color value changes to uh, since color is empty and then it changes to yellow and when the button is clicked it runs this function lights on and in lights on color changes to yellow so that's what is happening here okay we can use the same switch to turn the state to on and off uh, we'll just have to have if condition here I'll better have white here instead of blank so that the if condition becomes easier to write mm. color equals white then hello uh, else color equals white um, okay so let's try that okay the same switch um, works as an on and off switch now that's that's how you can use on click so I can also use on mouse over which is another function where you hover over something and it will start executing so I can do this I hover again it turns off I can also do mouse out so in here if I hover over it, nothing happens if I hover out or move the mouse out then it executes uh, there is uh, you know you can also use a uh, input um, instead of a button input has different kinds of events where one is uh, change um, so when you change something it doesn't do anything but if you click outside the change is executed uh, if you want to happen as soon as you start typing then you can do key down so whenever you press something it will execute so this is very useful when you have a when you want a search function to execute now another thing is uh, key up which is when you press and hold nothing happens when you leave uh, the lights gets on or the function runs I'll go back to the button to show something called inline handlers so what happens is lights on is a function which is here I can have it right here um, I will modify it so that I'll have a click and I can have an inline function here um, this is again ES6 function I can have uh, something like color uh, it's a condition if condition equals white uh, then uh, this is a ternary uh, operation if operation if else operation uh, color equals yellow else color equals white um, in quotes of course and uh, yeah that should work yep yeah, it's working so uh, I can have it here itself instead of having it uh, here let me remove it and see if it still works yeah now another thing is we can pass data from here or event data from here um, which isn't like required in this case but I can pass the event itself and uh, I'll have the previous function here and then I can pass the event I can receive that event and console.log event now it says there is an expect okay yeah now 
if I click. Okay, so I may have to inspect. All right, uh, I'll clear this and then switch. Yeah, I'm getting the mouse event. I can call this anything, maybe E here and then E. Uh, that should do the same thing. While deceiving, you can call it anything. While sending, you can call E. That is also fine. Um, so that's how you pass uh, an event. Uh, when you pass an event, you know it will have all the details of uh, what was the target. I think here, yeah, this was the target that we clicked, and uh, what time it was clicked, and then uh, what classes it had. All those things you can get here, and where it was. I mean, uh, where exactly the button was. So everything, every other detail uh, you get here. So you can use that for something else. Anyway, so uh, that's how uh, inline uh, handlers are used. Another thing is you can also use modifiers added to this uh, onclick directives um, using a pipe. There are many modifiers. Uh, one of them is once, uh, where when you click on it, it only executes once. Now it won't switch off because it executed once. Now there is another one. Uh, let's say I convert this to a a tag, and then I have a href equals um, usually hash. But if, even if I have a hash there, uh, if I click on this switch, it will open another tab, a new uh, new page. Or if you mention something in that href, um, it will go there. Usually in a web page, what happens is when you have hash and when you click on it it goes to the top of the page let's imagine we don't want that to happen we can have something like prevent default which is a function we use in javascript so that you know it doesn't do the default function so when you click on it it does the you know uh, change of the color but it doesn't go uh, to an, doesn't open a new page or go to the top um, that's something good now another thing is uh, you can also use things like you know uh, stop propagation where when you click on this and uh, the click bubbles up to the parent element uh, that can be uh, stopped using stop propagation there are many others uh, you can uh, you can i will leave a link you can go through them so this is it guys this is how you handle uh, events in Svelte. now there are some advanced things here uh, which i would be um, talking about in a different video so subscribe also like this you know if you liked uh, what i did here thanks bye bye